Bonada. Good morning everyone. I hope you are all well and enjoying your return to school or your continued home learning. I'm going to start this morning's assembly by asking you a question. Do you have a pet dog at home? Quite a few of the staff at Abercarn have pet dogs. People who have pets usually love them very much. Pets depend on us for food, water, shelter and exercise. In return, they give us their love and devotion. Today, I am going to tell you the story of a very special dog. He was a little Skye Terrier who lived over 160 years ago. He was born on a farm in Scotland where dogs like him were used to catch mice, rats and other vermin. He was bought by a man called John Gray, who was a night watchman for the police force in Edinburgh. At that time, policemen were called Bobbies, after Sir Robert Peel, who first set up the Metropolitan Police Force in London. So, what better name than to give the little dog than Bobby? Bobby could be seen in the poorest streets of Edinburgh, helping his master to enforce the law by chasing and sometimes biting the robbers and villains. Bobby was well known to everyone. After some years working together, John had to give up his job because of ill health. He still took Bobby out for walks and they spent many happy hours together. Sadly, however, John's health worsened and he died. He was buried in Grey Friars Churchyard. Dogs were not allowed in the churchyard and every night the big gate was locked. John's son took Bobby into his home, but however hard he tried to keep the little dog in, somehow Bobby always managed to find a way into the churchyard where every morning he would be found curled up on his master's grave in all weathers. People tried to chase him away but Bobby growled and bared his teeth and refused to move. After many nights and numerous attempts to move him, people gave up trying and accepted that Bobby was determined to stay in the churchyard by his master's grave. Every day at one o'clock, when the gun was fired at Edinburgh Castle, Bobby would go to the local coffee house. His master had gone to regularly and he would be given some food. Bobby lived like this for 14 years, keeping watch over John's grave. He became well known and attracted admirers from all over Europe. When he died on the 14th of January 1872, it was decided that permission would be given for Bobby to be buried next to his master. A public collection raised enough money for a headstone. Also, a drinking fountain was erected with a bronze statue of Bobby on the top. It can still be seen to this day. Bobby gave his undivided love and devotion to his master. He remained faithful to John all his life. There are many different religions in the world today, but they all ask for us to be faithful to its teachings and ideals. We too can also be faithful to each other. We can stand up for each other and continue to care even when we feel let down. We can also show respect to those we meet. Shall we have a time for reflection? Let us think about the story of John and his faithful dog Bobby. What does it teach us about being faithful and sticking by people no matter what. Close your eyes and let us pray. 
Dear God, please help us to be faithful and true to our beliefs. Please help us to experience the true faithfulness, loyalty and devotion shown by Gra Grey Friars Bobby in our lives. Help us to show kindness and loyalty to others every day so that we become trusted and faithful friends. Amen. And now we've come to the end of our assembly. Thank you for listening. And together we will sing a lovely song called It's a Beautiful Day. <laughs>